Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more Civilization VI as Abraham Lincoln. So, just a bit of a heads up, I'm going to start doing some editing in these videos, for a few different reasons, because I want to try a different style, and I also want to fit one Civ VI game in like 6-7 videos max eventually. Not quite sure how well that's going to work out, but I want to try something new and different. It might take me a little bit of experimenting to really get it right, but just letting you know in advance, that's what I will be doing a bit from here on. Also, I can actually still build the Mahabodhi temple in Washington. That requires a forest tile adjacent to a holy site with a temple, which I do have, and that will only take five turns to build, and it will give me two apostles. Getting two apostles for free right now will save me a lot of faith, which I can't really afford to spend while I have active monumentality. So that will be very, very useful. I also still need one more archer to boast machinery. I don't actually have to wait for that stupa all that much. Yeah, the stupa can wait. Let's just get the archer before that. I know this is a little bit of faith that I would get slightly faster, but I wanted that boost, because I'll be getting the tech very, very soon. I need my crossbowmen before we declare war on Gandhi. I will be declaring war pretty soon, I'm just waiting for a few more good units. We can also upgrade the warrior, but I'm waiting to get some iron for that. We can sell more horses, I'm sure people are still buying. Yes, indeed they are. And technically I could buy some iron to upgrade that warrior a little bit faster, but it's not really necessary, because I'll be waiting for crossbowmen anyway. So really there's no point speeding that up all that much. Now this will be an aqueduct, which means I might as well just chop that and uh, finish the monument instantly. Then we can get started on the aqueduct, or we could do something else. Uh, let's actually get started on the industrial zone. I need all of my industrial zones ASAP to print some units. And we can take care of these barbarians. Then the plan is to wait for enough faith to fight by a settler in Buffalo, and I can explore this area a bit and settle another city. It looks like there should be a spot for a good city or two. It looks like my scout is under attack. I might lose him here, but I suppose he did his job already. It's not the end of the world if he dies but perhaps I can protect him with my galley. We'll see about that. Now we can get started on machinery. I'll get the archer in two turns, which is just about right. I'm still waiting for more trade-out capacity. As soon as I get it, I will be sending a trader from New York. Sell more horses, obviously. Uh, that's kind of a really bad deal. He probably only wants like one or two. Well, there you go. Yep, I lost that scout. I suppose it's not the end of the world. He did his job. There is not that much left to explore in this area. I mostly just want to know where all the cities that belong to Poundmaker are. He has like 11, 12. I assume they are all in this general area, but that is a lot of cities. We can get open borders with him and go through his territory. I'm sure he won't mind. Here, one gold. Enjoy your one gold. We got a scout. We can kill him now. Down you go, heal up our men at arms, then I can explore this general area. Harvest the resource. Oh, he actually interrupted my industrial zone construction. Here you go. Anyone still buying horses? I assume so. More than that? Yep, that's a good deal. Speaking of Arabia, my declaration of friendship with Arabia expired, and I'm not going to renew it. That's intentional, because he's likely going to be my next target after Gandhi which means I do not want another 30 turn declaration of friendship. We'll just keep it like this. And I definitely don't want an alliance with him. I don't want that to go to level 2. There's the machinery boost, and we got another archer. We'll grab the bonus right away, and now I can finish the stupa. I got quite a few industrial zones coming up. That will print quite a few units for us. There are, what, four under construction? and then I can also get the workshops. This Mahabodhi temple will actually be so useful with two apostles. That will save me a lot of faith. I also got 1200 gold now, but I am going to need gold for unit upgrades. I'm about to need 125 gold times three 
for my archers. I still need 125 for my warrior. This might seem like a lot, but it's not actually that much. We got guilds. Can I get rid of gothic architecture? Because I might not need that anymore. I think I can get rid of it and not delay anything. It might delay my mausoleum by like one turn, but I don't think it will. And I could use this slot for something else, for craftsmen, which we just unlocked. Let's do that then. I would definitely like craftsmen. This will be worth even more soon because we got several industrial zones under construction. I don't think I'll be changing anything else. We still need the professional army. I need all of these. Okay, there you go. Uh, don't like that galley, but all right. Yeah, nothing got delayed. Still three turns to finish the mausoleum and we'll get the Mahabodhi temple on the next turn. I'll be honest, I did not expect to get this. I didn't even look for it on the list. But all right, all right. What I mean is that it was totally 100% planned all along. I knew all along I'll get it. I got another governor title. I think it is actually worth getting Black Marketeer because that way I'll be able to get gunpowder units for a lot less nitre. And then I'll need it for vertical integration in the future anyway. Speaking of gunpowder units, I just need to build an armory now to boost gunpowder and then we could print some musket men instead. If I could get that before finishing all the industrial zones, I would get musket men right away instead of men at arms. That's probably worth doing. That would be pretty nice timing. I think I might try. And then we could declare war on Gandhi right away with musket men. That should give me a nice advantage against him. Don't you dare beat me to it. Did we get it? Yes, we did. Very nice. So that will give me two apostles right away. I will use one to evangelize belief right away. I'm just checking the promotions. We do not have Yerevan, unfortunately. I could get it, but I'm using these two guys for Inquisition and another belief anyway. So Yerevan wouldn't really do me much good just yet. Now, I would like to get some science which means cross-cultural dialogue is an option, but I could also pick up Crusade and then just convert some cities as I go, which is also a very good way to get ERA score. It's not a bad idea. This is a huge bonus. It's a massive bonus. I'm actually tempted to pick it up. I might need more faith than this, as in more than 45 faith per turn to really take advantage of this, but I think it's worth doing. He's also converting Boston here and uh, Charleston. I'll need my Inquisitors. All right, I definitely need an Inquisition. Let's just launch that right away. I think I will actually pick up Crusade. It's pretty tempting and it might help me in the future against Poundmaker or something like that. What the heck? Let's get Crusade. The Freedom Crusade, am I right? <laughs> that seems like a very appropriate combo. The Freedom Crusade. Heck yeah. Sure, we'll get that. Now, can I build that armory as quickly as possible? Washington should be able to do it pretty damn quickly. Let's just do it. I was going to get an encampment for Washington anyway. Let's do that then. And I might delay some of my industrial zones until we actually get gunpowder. Mostly this one probably. That's six turns. Okay, we have two of them coming in six turns. So I'll just delay that when it's one turn away from completion and we'll get musket men. And then I can upgrade my men at arms, the archers already, and then we'll declare war on Gandhi. So that's the plan right now. Okay, we got an eruption. That's not a bad thing. And now I have enough faith to faith by a settler. Let's grab one in Buffalo then, like I said. That's 405, it leaves me with 11. I think there's still a barbarian camp somewhere around here. Yes, indeed, there is. We'll get rid of that. I'll probably want to settle to the north. This might actually be an island. I'm starting to think this is actually an island. I could go here and settle to the south of Samarkand. That's also not a bad idea. That way I would definitely be in the same general area as Poundmaker. And I might have to go after him in the future. He is currently in the lead in science. He's number one with 32 technologies researched. I got 25. I need to keep an eye on him. I will definitely be keeping an eye on him. I also lost Fez. That's not so good. Give it back, thanks. 
I need to not lose face when I go to war with Gandhi. That would be pretty awkward. I don't have that many envoys. And finally, we got the mausoleum at Halicarnassus. That will give all of my coastal tiles plus one science, plus one faith, and plus one culture. Now I really, really, really need Auckland. Uh, don't get me wrong, I needed it earlier as well, but now I definitely need it badly. I need to switch from charismatic leader to diplomatic league for a moment. We can do that once we finish diplomatic service because I don't want to waste envoys, but that will make New York actually amazing. It's already going to be pretty damn good, but it will be amazing. I don't like this barbarian galley too much, but all right, we need some ship in here to protect New York. Where is it even coming from? I have no idea. It might have spawned here earlier, but now I destroyed that barbarian camp. Another skirmisher? Wait, what? The Cree? He's bringing a settler here. Okay, that's not good. I could technically declare war on him right now and yoink that settler. That doesn't feel entirely safe, but I could do it. Mind you, it would have to be a surprise war, which would be 150 grievances. But this is extremely tempting. I really don't want him settling a city right next to me right now. I can deal with a Corsair. That's not a big deal with Man at Arms. What the heck, I'm going to do it. I won't be very well liked for that. But there's no way I'm going to let him settle a city over here. Piss off. Yeah, yeah, Gandhi won't like it, but it's not like I care about Gandhi's opinion. Here, <laughs> thanks for the settler. Okay, he has a Man at Arms over there as well. All right, all right. I need this free unit from the industrial zone, ASAP. But I really want to get gunpowder before I finish the industrial zones. This was a risky move for sure. It certainly was. How quickly could I get an actual unit here? No, that will take too long. We need a freebie. That's what we need. I hope I'm not going to regret that move. Because it was a risky move for sure. But it got me a settler. Uh, I could grab this builder here, but he will obviously kill my scout. Maybe not, he doesn't actually have walls in this city. <laughs> okay, okay, I can probably pillage this. I can definitely pillage this. That will give me 200 gold, heck yeah. Okay, that was a little bit unexpected. <laughs> I did not expect to do this with my scout. But heck yeah, maybe this was a good idea after all. Now I need to escort my settler. I could technically just settle where I am right now, but I don't think that's a particularly good spot for a city. It's not entirely terrible, but it's really not great either. Problem is, no matter where I settle on the west side of this island, I will not have an aqueduct or fresh water. I would be leaning towards just settling south of Samarkand, like I said earlier. Did I say that earlier? Well, either way, I would like to settle over here. First, let's actually keep the settlers safe. <laughs> and get that musket, man. That will make my life easier. Right, the barracks is only one turn, we'll get the barracks. I'm also losing my faith here, or religion rather, very slowly. Plus 4.5 from Hinduism. That's kind of rude. That is definitely rude. How much for an inquisitor right now? 150 faith. I might have to grab one. I'm not super excited about that, but I might have to grab one. Let's start getting some buildings for our industrial zones, since I will be getting gunpowder very, very soon. I just need that armory. I'll try to keep that builder safe so that he can't steal it back. No promises, because I only have a scout to protect him. I think he has a campus over there. Yes, yeah, special session. A natural disaster? Well, I'm going to vote against that, to be honest. But it will probably pass. Oh no, it actually failed! Okay. <laughs> no aid for you, sorry buddy. I can try to pillage this campus over here, get some science for myself. It's a good thing he didn't build walls yet, because my scout would have been dead by now. Only three turns to get an armory, that will give us gunpowder pretty soon. I just need to delay this industrial zone literally by one turn. We can do one turn of a builder or something like that, or one turn of city walls. I will need city walls in here eventually anyway. So one turn of city walls and then we'll switch. And now, yeah, I will wait to actually get a musket man. Let's just escort our settler. I can send this guy east and settle over here perhaps. Or I can embark and settle over here. Probably best to embark 
and go in that general direction. I don't think he's going to do much. He only has a Corsair and a Man at Arms, and uh, his cities are on a different landmass. I don't actually expect him to do much. I can kill his units once I get my second musket man here. Uh, I need to delay that industrial zone. Again, by one turn. Just one turn for now. Switch it back here. That's free. Yeah, we'll get the gunpowder in two turns exactly. I just need one more turn of research in gunpowder and then we'll get it. Now I need the lighthouse to get more trade routes, obviously. And I'll try to get Auckland as soon as I'm able to. Alright, I will obviously lose this scout sooner or later, but I'll see how much I can pillage. This is 97 science. That's like almost two turns worth of my research. I won't say no to that. <laughs> Why would I? Alright, Man at Arms from the Warrior. Just checking if some industrial zone isn't about to finish. This will be pretty good timing once I'm done. This will actually be very good timing. You know the crazy thing about the Lincoln is that you don't even have to time his special ability all that much. You can just build industrial zones and the buildings inside them whenever and have freebie units that cost no maintenance, just sit around and wait until you're ready. You can just do that. It's definitely not very timing sensitive. What else can I pillage over here? Probably not that much. Now we should probably move away from here and try this city. I can try something, but the scout has already done his job. We can embark with the builder and escort him with the galley. I can probably save that builder. Maybe even I can escort him to one of my existing cities. That would be pretty funny. Hey, where do you think you're going? I don't think so, buddy. Let's just embark with the settler. So I will send one settler here. Let's just put a pin here, like so. Not saying this will be the exact location, I need to see more, but I'm just putting it here as a reminder to myself. And the other one might be here or so. I want to explore a little bit more of that island, but that seems reasonable. Now I can buy a builder. Buffalo could definitely use more improvements. Where's Liang currently? In New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans could definitely use a builder. Now I can actually switch them around. So Liang could go to Buffalo, so that then I can get a builder in Buffalo, and Magnus can go to New Orleans, so that I can get extra yields in New Orleans for harvesting the rainforest. I'll just have to wait five turns, but I also want mines right here, next to the volcano, things like that. One more crossbowman here, and yep, we're almost ready. A switch research to something else and we'll get gunpowder on the next turn. Gandhi is not impressed. There it is, we got gunpowder really? and also diplomatic service. So now we can finish the industrial zones. Yep, there's the musket man. That finished on this exact turn right now. We'll get the workshop. Does Washington have a workshop? Uh, yes, it does. Fair enough. Uh, Washington needs a dam. Wait, didn't it build one already? Oh, it would be a second dam. Yeah, I was confused for a moment. This is not a bad plan. Yeah, hold on, because I haven't planned the industrial zone for Chicago. I could actually build it up here. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, no, if I build it here, then I won't be able to build it here. Yeah, never mind, Boston has to do that one. Boston will also finish an industrial zone. I will have enough gold to get my musket men here, but I might have to buy some niter from other people. Yeah, now I have to buy some niter from them because I can't afford all of this myself otherwise. Some people are still buying horses. So let's buy some niter from someone, anyone who's selling for a decent price. Oh, nobody is selling. Really? Okay, that's not great. It's not the end of the world, but it's certainly not great. I have two that I haven't improved down here. We'll get those next. I'm just going to grab a builder in Chicago as soon as I get the faith. I'm not going to wait for like the plus one build from Liang or anything fancy like that. I just need that niter improved right away. Now, not later. Now, I would like to get at least one or two siege units. We'll grab some trouble shells in Washington. And now I need to switch charismatic leader for diplomatic league and then we can get Auckland. This is just temporary. Plus 11 from craftsmen, that's nice. I still need everything else here. So now we can send one envoy to Auckland. Trigger inspiration for medieval thirds. Yeah, we will not be doing that. 
at least probably not. Here we go, we got Auckland, very nice. Uh, how many heroes are still available? Okay, Sun Wukong. I can probably get him pretty quickly. Okay, six turns only. I would like to finish that workshop though. What about New York? Ten turns in New York? What's my highest production city outside of my capital anyway? That might actually be Cincinnati? Probably, with 25 production. Yeah, that's actually Cincinnati with 25. New Orleans, 21. Seven turns in New Orleans. Okay, let's get Sun Wukong in New Orleans, because this workshop will take much longer. This one is almost done. We'll get Sun Wukong in seven turns, and we'll get workshop in Cincinnati, which will give us another musket man. And I'm pretty much ready now. I don't want to keep waiting, but at the same time, I need what? Four more Niter to get one more musket man, and we'll get a trebuchet in three turns. I would like to have at least one active trebuchet when we actually declare war. I waited this long, I can wait a tiny little bit longer. It's fine. And we'll escort the builder. <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. How many builds does he have? Oh, only one. Still, I can get him somewhere where he will make himself useful. Nothing wrong with that. Another musket man coming in Boston in just a second. This should be quite a fun war. Yep, there it is. Right here. I will not be sending them west uh, to get the plus 5 bonus from the natural wonder, because obviously that will take too long. I want to attack Gandhi now and not 20 turns from now. They can still like go back there a little bit later, once I'm done with Gandhi or something like that, but certainly not right now. I think I'm like a few faith short to fade by a builder right now. Yeah, I'm less than one faith short. 0 0.5 faith short. <laughs> that's kind of annoying, but okay. 10 turns for a builder in Boston? That's too long. I'll just pop a workshop to print more units. There's no reason to do anything else right now. I will likely just peace out with Poundmaker once I'm able to, because I have no real reason to stay at war with him. I don't want to stay at war with him. I declared war to steal his settler. It's his own damn fault that I declared war on him. He shouldn't have brought an unprotected settler right next to my military unit. It's his own damn fault. I didn't do anything wrong. I think a city-state destroyed the barbarian camp. At least it looks that way. I'm not wasting 20 niter for this unit. That would be a massive waste. I need it for my other units. Since I'm already here with this musket man from the workshop, I might as well get the plus 5 bonus for him. There's no reason not to. There's our trebuchet. I would like one more. I will definitely not be killing a unit with a spearman. <laughs> that is not going to happen. One more trebuchet. Alright, one more trebuchet. Now that we're done with the workshop, we can actually get this encampment that I have planned for a while. That way I will be able to recruit units in Cincinnati and have them get the plus 5 bonus from Jan's Causeway as soon as they are ready. That will be quite convenient. I need to get rid of this stupid galley. <laughs> it's really getting on my nerves right now. There are some barbarians on this island to the southwest. It might be better to send an escort. Let's just be careful to not lose the settlers. I got one of them for free, but I would still prefer to not lose them. There's the trebuchet, and in three turns we'll get Sun Wukong. Technically less than that. I can chop the rainforest on the next turn, and that will complete him instantly. And then we can declare war on Gandhi. Yep, that's the plan right now. That should be fun. That should be fun. Where is his actual capital? Because I haven't actually looked. He wants to be friends? Yeah, I will uh, renew most of my alliances right now. His capital is right here, so not very far away. I will renew most of my alliances. Definitely people who are very far away from me, like Rome. Who's behind in science here? Uh, Hungary, Congo, Norway... Uh, Rome is not doing particularly well, to be honest. Alright, we can have a research alliance with Congo, a culture alliance with Rome, military alliance with Norway, that's fine. Here you go, and economic with Hungary. He has heroic age. Good for him. Okay, four alliances. That will do. Can we peace out? Not yet, one more turn, if he will be willing. Next up, obviously, metal casting, and I forgot to get this builder down here. We need to get that niter. In fact, in one turn I can get another builder for buffalo. Let's just send both these settlers west, 
see what we can do in this general area. Might be useful to have two cities down there. As an alternative, I can send the men at arms as escort and use my new musket men to fight Poundmaker's units. We still need a dam, let's start building that right away. Here we go, we got San Wukong. He's going to be quite useful here. 68 melee strength. Yeah, that's actually decently high, quite a bit higher than a musket man. He should be able to fight quite well. And I think we're ready to declare war at this point. I can probably drag some others into this war, but yeah, we are ready to declare war. I can actually declare a holy war. Heck yeah, let's declare holy war. And I can try to convert his cities while we're at war. That's the best way to get era score and obviously I want to take advantage of crusade now that I actually have it. If I'm going to do that, I should do that with an apostle, which would cost me 460. That is not exactly cheap. It will take a little bit of time, but that's the best way to go. Let's move in. How much nighter do we have? Yeah, we have enough to get a musket man. Do both of these guys have the bonus? Yes. And this guy was a freebie, okay? I mean, doesn't really matter because I'll be promoting them both. It's just that I can't afford to promote them both yet. We will move in with the trebuchet. I think it will have to be here. Yeah, that's a flat tile, that's a forest. Yeah, so let's go here and then we'll go here where the crossbowman is. That looks good. Move in with Sun Wukong. Yeah, just move. Gandhi is sending a hero. That doesn't really matter. I can't remember what she does. 66 by strength. Oh, I think she has some kind of AoE, right? I actually do not remember. <laughs> I honestly don't remember. I don't think I ever used that one. I literally never used this hero. Ever. All right, well, he will kill some of my units. Uh, he's sending a knight and he also has a spearman inside. Oh yeah, and we should also levy troops from Fez. That was the plan all along. I'm definitely doing that. Here we go. That's not a lot of units, but it wasn't very expensive either and it gave me error score. I need to kill that knight. It's definitely not safe to move in with the trebuchet right now. If anything, we need to back up slightly. I can attack him. I can probably attack the city, but it will recover its health pretty quickly. There's no real need to do that just yet. Move in with everything we got. And in Washington, you know, I could build Huey Teokali. I'm not totally convinced it's worth doing it on a free tile lake. I could do it, but I don't think I really need it. Probably not. What I need are more units. That's what I need. I also wouldn't mind a spy and we'll need at least one military engineer at some point. But I think right now units are the priority. I could get a Corsair, but a Corsair is weaker than some of the alternatives. And no, not a skirmisher. <laughs> Let's actually just get more trebuchets. I'm going to need siege units eventually, probably, sooner or later. There's the harbor, lighthouse next to get more trade route capacity, and then we can get some naval unit to kick out that barbarian ship. It's getting on my nerves. Can we finish with a quote-unquote war with Poundmaker? Yep, here, enjoy peace. They didn't really want to be at war with you anyway. Like I said, it was his own damn fault. He started by bringing a settler with no protection. So it's clearly his fault. I can speed up the workshop, let's do that. Obviously we should do that. Get yet another musket man. Uh, okay, hold on. That's actually a fairly strong hero there. I might need some help to beat her. Get the nighter. And we'll get the bombards pretty soon. Bombards should be fairly strong against Gandhi here. I assume she will attack me. No, she ran away. Uh, yes, I agree. That's definitely the key to success. It's not going to be that helpful. It was more useful for Erascore, to be honest. I don't think I want to chase her all that much. Let's heal up. Now it should be okay-ish to move in. That knight is out of there somewhere. Yeah, move in with the musket man. And uh, I will attack on the next turn to start attacking with everything I got. Shame this forest is here. Because then I could attack from this tile if it wasn't. I will not be able to do that, but it's all right. I'm more worried about Majorai, but it shouldn't be a big problem. Okay, no, it shouldn't be a big problem, actually. Workshop, obviously, for more printed units. I almost lost a crossbowman here. Uh, that was pretty close, let's back up. I will probably lose some of the crossbowmen because they are pretty squishy. 
but it's all right. Now go get the other nighter, thank you very much. We'll start attacking the city on the next turn. Where is Victor? Let's just move Victor to Boston and such. How's our fate? 233. Let's grab a builder in Buffalo. It still needs a lot of improvements. And I should check horse trades. Yeah, he's attacking my trebuchet, which is fair, I suppose. We got World Congress. A plus 10 strength for all units of this religion. Freedom. I can spend a little bit of diplomatic favor for that. Plus 100% production towards buildings in this district. We can vote for city center. That's what the AI usually does. I expect that option to pass. It does most of the time, yep. And yep, there we go. We got plus 10 strength for freedom religious units. We got medieval firsts. I can get charismatic leader back. I don't think I'll be sending more envoys right now. I want to save my two envoys in case Gandhi steals Fez or in case somebody steals Auckland. I want to keep Auckland for sure and I would still like to keep Fez as well. Back to charismatic leader, we're keeping everything else. I think I still need the professional army, at least for the nearest future. Here you go. I have to back up with the trebuchet. At least the trebuchets will keep him distracted a little bit. And the hero is coming back. Okay, attack her. Then we can attack her with the musket man. I can move here, that is a hill. But I want to attack right now. Yeah, let's start attacking. This will not be particularly fast, but it's all right. We'll get there. We'll get experience, if nothing else. I'll just have to do some unit shuffling in order to not lose them. Now, for the next civic, probably humanism, because I'll need that to progress further down the tree. I don't think I'll be earning a great artist in a reasonable future. I will pick up a garrison commander for Victor. That's a no-brainer. Your other cities within nine tiles gain plus four loyalty. That will be useful eventually. And the plus five combat bonus might also come in handy as well. But definitely garrison commander. I moved my scout into safety. We will disembark here, but let's move a bit closer first. We are no longer at war with Poundmaker, so it's mostly barbarians that I need to be concerned with. We got the other nighter. Now I shouldn't have any problems with the nighter. And I'll just crank out the trebuchets in Washington. I'll need them. Okay, let's see what he's going to attack here. He's moving his hero around. I should also ask others to declare war on him. I kind of forgot about that part. Let's see if we can convince Congo to join the party. Join ongoing war. Holy war against Gandhi. How much does she want? Yeah, she will do it. Oh, she will do it for like one gold piece. <laughs> hey, works for me. There you go. He doesn't really have other neighbors. Norway might do something if I get him to join. He's not a direct neighbor, but he's kind of close. And I guess I can get Hungary to join. Hungary definitely won't do anything. Oh, no, he will not do it. Never mind. And maybe Rome? Rome will not do it. <laughs> will Poundmaker do it? Uh, no, he will not. Okay, fair enough. Carry on then. So, let's see what we can do here. I need to be careful about my wounded musket man here. Uh, our hero is down to 41 HP right now. Uh, let's move in this general direction. We can promote this guy. I have just about enough nighter. Good. This is quite a lot of units. I don't think attacking one more time with this musket man will be a good idea. But I can probably still keep him alive if we attack one more time and then swap him out on the next turn after this. I will need bombards against this, which is why we're working on it. I might have to buy more nighter, actually. I shouldn't have promoted this unit. I'm going to need nighter for some bombards. But it's alright. We are getting nighter much faster now. It shouldn't be a big problem. Now I can disembark here. Should be safe. This is probably going to be the city. And then I can fade by a builder in that city right away. There's this guy, but this guy only has literally one charge. And that's it. One single charge. It's not going to be tremendously helpful. Chop that to speed up the dam a tiny little bit. I do wish this lake wasn't actually here, but unfortunately it is. <laughs> and I will have to deal with it, sadly. And I wish this forest wasn't here either. But again, it is. Oh well. I will try to at least attack with one of my trebuchets, but at this point I might have to wait for bombards. We can kill the hero. Does killing a hero actually give you error score? I don't think killing a hero does that. 
Okay, square rigging boost, because we killed the unit with the musket man. That's useful. And knight is coming, we'll take care of him. Down you go. Okay, now I can back up with my wounded musket man. Move in with this guy. This is 57 health. That might not be entirely safe. Yeah, I'll back up with him, move in with the men at arms from the city-state. This city will fall, it's just a matter of time for the most part. Okay, we know a little bit more now. There's some ivory over here, some stone to the south. This looks like a good spot, and it will be close enough to the coast to get a harbor. We'll be settling right there, like originally planned. Alright, Gandhi, show me what you got. He attacked me with his spearman, and he basically killed himself instantly. <laughs> well done, Gandhi. Uh, I will probably lose this musket man up here, actually, because I can't move outside of his range, and I can't pillage anything for health. It's not the end of the world, I suppose, but that g might give me an opportunity to attack with the trebuchet. Yeah, perhaps. Let's move in with the trebuchet, like so. Attack with the borrowed unit, with this guy. Yeah, this is not going quickly, but it will go much faster once I'm able to start using bombards. They are coming. One more trebuchet from Washington, and then we'll start getting bombards. There's the encampment. I will get the walls. I don't think I'll need them, but I will feel a little bit safer with walls rather than without them. Speaking of which, we just got walls up here as well. Now we can start the city and uh, I will fight by a builder right away. That leaves me with 63 faith. How many more turns do we have of monumentality? At least 16. This is the last era I will be able to get monumentality in. Even if we get the Golden Age again, there's no monumentality in Industrial Era. Now, since I have a lot of gold, I'm just going to buy some early buildings in Baltimore here, just to speed up its growth. I will grab a granary, and we can start building walls. Just in case we'll go to war with Poundmaker again, and he tries to attack me here. Which is definitely possible. Let's see what Gandhi is going to do here. Yep, he killed something, I didn't quite catch it. Oh yeah, uh, that musket man. Right, right, I expected that, that's fine. He does have a privateer on that lake. And we just got metal casting. And he's sending two knights from the southeast. I can handle that. We have 16 niter. Can I buy four niter from anyone? Yes, I actually can. Norway will sell niter. I might just buy all of it. 442 gold. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I can probably get a better deal, maybe. Is he buying anything else? Aaron, perhaps? He's not buying Aaron. Okay, is he buying diplomatic favor? Maybe. Wait, I don't know if he's buying Aaron. He's buying Aaron. Okay, he's buying Aaron and horses. He has 44 niter. Can I buy all of it? Let's say 54. Uh, he has 6 Aaron. I can try to sell him all of it. And he has no horses whatsoever. 40 horses? Yeah, he will go for it. Heck yeah. And maybe some gold on top of that? Oh, this is a great deal. Wow. Okay, that's an amazing deal right there. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm more than fine with this deal. Absolutely. Enjoy. Now I can upgrade my trebuchets. Uh, this dude still needs a little bit of healing, but that's alright. Probably best to just upgrade while I'm standing on this tile instead of attacking. I assume he will attack units that are already wounded. That's what AI usually does. It's not guaranteed to happen, but that's probably what's going to happen. Uh, he also has a core. Okay, good to know. You guys move a bit closer. We'll upgrade this one to a bombard because he has full health. I got 20 nighters still. Now we can work on some districts in Washington. Let's get that theater square because I never built a single theater square yet. Which is definitely not a good thing. We'll grab siege tactics to get forts. I should also get a military engineer in Washington. We can do that after the theater square. There's no huge rush to get them. I'll just need them to build two forts and later to build some railroads. There's the one build builder. And now I need to think about where to use my other settler. I think I'll just settle in this general area. To have two cities fairly close to Poundmaker. That might come in handy in the future. I'm pretty sure it will. I'm 99% sure it will be useful in the future. Alright, Gandhi, bring it on. I got quite a few units in this area now. This might be one of my favorite leaders now. Oh, wait, did he... Yeah, he, okay, he attacked uh, my crossbowman in the back. I suppose that's fair. 
It was just a crossbowman. Now he's in range of my bombardment. We can utilize that fact. I should be able to kill that one knight. He might kill my trebuchet if I do it like this. So that might not be entirely safe. If I attack with my musket man, I will have around 20 health left or less. So that might not be entirely safe either. But I can definitely kill this knight right here. Okay, let's attack with the trebuchet. Attack with the men at arms. Now, do I attack with the musket man? There's a pretty good chance he will kill the musket man, especially since this is a core. But if he does that, he will be within two tiles of Boston and I should be able to cut him off. Let's do it. So I have 27 health. Yeah, I guess it's not a big deal if he does. If he moves in to attack me, I will kill him for sure. I got so many units for free that I don't actually mind losing one or two of them. Now, back to his actual city. He did not attack my bombard because he focused on my wounded units. That's a good thing. Oh, since my trebuchet is here, I cannot back up with my mana terms. Then again, this is the guy from the city-states. I think we should pillage this, actually. Wait, what's this? Lumber mill. Yeah, let's pillage that, get some gold. I certainly don't mind. Uh, move the mana terms south. Yeah, towards the knight. That way I'll be able to cut him off a little bit more efficiently. We'll buy this knight real quick and improve it. Not just for the yields, but the yields are certainly nice. I'm sending my mana terms for some protection in case it's going to be needed. We'll speed up the dam a tiny little bit. And on the next turn, I can finally send a trader out from New York to get that road I wanted for a while. We are still printing units. We got a workshop coming up in six turns. We are still printing. All right, Gandhi. Yep, he killed... Wait, what did he kill? Oh yeah, the city steady unit, that's fair. He didn't actually attack me with that night core. Yep, he actually did not, and he's in range of my city bombardment. Okay, okay. I will definitely kill him. Uh, let's back up with that musket man. Uh, did I just mess this up? Slightly. Probably best to stay here. Yeah, let's stay here and fortify. I can't actually finish him off. Yes, maybe I can finish him off. And uh, no, I will die if I attack him like this. Move in and fortify right here, just to cut him off. And uh, back towards siege. This should go much faster, even with a single bombard. But we do have more bombards coming. That's 20 Niter, which I have. He's not at full health yet, but that's all right. That's three bombards now. Okay, this city should be ours in... I don't know how many turns. Less than 10. Oh, wait. One out of two. How come there's no valid trade route in here? What the heck? Uh, that's a little bit odd. I'm not sure why there's no valid trade route. That's a bit strange. I'm at one out of two. There should be a valid trade route from New York. I don't know why there isn't. Now, where do I want this city? There's no river I can use. Probably around here-ish. It's not going to be amazing, but I want to be a bit closer to Poundmaker. You know, for the future. One more rainforest to chop and we'll get the dam on the next turn. That will give me a bigger industrial zone bonus. In five turns, we'll get one more musket man. This is looking pretty good. His courser is inside the city now. Okay, good. Special session. A natural disaster. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Are we the natural disaster? <laughs> Maybe that's what he's referring to. We are the natural disaster. Uh, he will not kill the bombard with one shot from the city. We can still attack it. This will still take a while, but we're getting there. Not particularly quickly, but we're getting there. Hey, it's good for experience, if nothing else. It's slowly going down. One more bombard is coming. Heal up. Where did that knight go? Uh, not quite sure, but I'm not going to chase it around. I don't really care about chasing it around all that much. And he can move faster than me anyway. Really? A galley? Oh, come on, dude. He pillaged my crap. That's obnoxious. I suppose I'll just fade my builder and repair it. But that's kind of obnoxious. At least I have walls and I can shoot him, but it's slightly annoying. Yeah, see, if this forest wasn't here, I would be able to attack his city with three bombards on the next turn. But alas. We'll grab an armory here to recruit better units. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I can use a trade route. So it doesn't matter where it will go as long as it goes directly east. Yeah, this is completely fine. We can go to Arabia. 
I do plan to declare war on Arabia eventually, but I won't be doing it just yet. We can also go to Yerevan. Let's just go to Yerevan, that's a little bit safer. As for Chicago, well, this will be a dam in the future. So this could actually be an industrial zone for Chicago. I'll have to harvest the wheat, but that seems reasonable. Uh, we should also get a harbor here, but this guy is kind of getting on my nerves. I think this is going to be the city. That should be relatively safe. We'll get a bunch of resources in range. I would be able to build an encampment up here. That's probably what I'll end up doing. That looks like a pretty good spot to me. It won't have fresh water, but I can live with that. It's not the end of the world. Back to Gandhi. Let's see what he can do here. He will try. Okay, he killed another unit. He's actually starting to get on my nerves now. His courser is almost dead. There's the night core. I can't kill him like this, but if he attacks me, I might be able to take him down. I need to bait him into attacking me. That's what I need. All right, this city needs to go down. Yeah, see, so this is the problem. I need to move in if I want to attack it with the other bombards, which will expose my bombards. I'm not exactly happy about it, but I don't really have a lot of options. With three bombards attacking that city, it will go down pretty quickly. Another option is attacking it from this tile. Uh, there is a privateer over there. I'm not thrilled about this option. Let's just do it like this. It's not exactly safe, but I think this is the best option to end this siege quickly. I want to end it a little bit faster <laughs> than it's been going. There's our military engineer. He won't have a job just yet. I just needed a fort. And we have 16 Niter at the moment. Where's Magnus? Hold on. Magnus needs to go back to Washington, actually. Because I have Black Marketeer on Magnus. That way I can get bombards without paying 20 Niter. While he moves, let's get a spy. I do not have a single spy, and I would like to have some. This city could grab a holy site, but first I could actually boast something. Like another builder. That would be alright, I think. Okay, let's boost another builder here by chopping this. That's two turns, I let him finish, and then we can build a holy site. I think now I will save up for the apostle. I still want to make use of monumentality, but I'm a little bit torn, because at the same time I would like to convert some of Gandhi's cities. Especially uh, further cities will be attacking after this. And it will take me a while to get enough to actually buy an apostle. Alright, I think we can get rid of that wall in like a turn or two. Let's find out. All right, Gandhi, let's see what you can do. Yep, he attacked my unit with the knight. That's good. Oh, he declared war on me. Wait, no, he didn't. Yes, he did. Right? Okay, that makes me a little bit nervous. I don't think he's going to do a whole lot. I'm pretty sure he's not going to do much. But we are now at war. Let's get a workshop here to print another unit. We are about to finish walls in Baltimore, so that's definitely a good thing. Not sure what I'll be doing after, but we'll see. I'm a little bit nervous about starting a city up here now, now that he declared war on me. I still want to do it, but yeah, I'll need to get walls in there ASAP. And I'll probably want to spend faith to get a builder in there. How about industrial zone for New York? I could still get one, but it might have to be here, where I was originally planning the encampment. I could technically get both, but that would involve removing one of the forests or building it right here. And yes, I can see the amber is pillaged. That was the barbarian area. Ten turns for a builder is a bit long. I lost Auckland, didn't I? No, I didn't. Yeah, it's just not a lot of production at the moment. Uh, also, next era is coming in ten turns. And I don't have a whole lot of era score. This is where that apostle would be really useful. But I need 460 faith to get an apostle. And I need an apostle. I could also really use Yerevan, if I'm going to use an Apostle. I can probably pull that off. I do have enough envoys to get it, but I would have zero left as a result. Religious conversion quest. Yeah, I can probably pull that off, but it will be a bit risky. Oh, he built an encampment. Now I need to do this much faster. I need to hurry up with this. Let's see how much damage we can do with the bombards. Not as much as I would have liked. I will promote this one uh, to get full health again. Now I will definitely lose some units here. That's kind of unavoidable. I will lose this musket man. Probably best to just fortify. I will lose units. I cannot prevent that from happening now. 
But we will be taking the city pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. And I can get one more bombard attacking. Here you go. Uh, move out with anything wounded. Move in with this guy. Can I kill that knight? That will give me some error score. I might not be able to. I can do some damage. So again, this is a borrowed unit anyway. This is a bit of a gamble attacking with this dude. But this dude is from Fez. Okay, let's try. No, I didn't get it. He survived with like one health. That's a bit unfortunate, but I suppose it was worth a shot. A little bit unfortunate. Alright, let's see how many units he can kill. I still got some stuff to do. That's it. Okay, he did less damage than I thought he will. He actually did not kill anything on that turn. He did not kill anything. I probably can't catch that knight. Oh wait, he's here. Yeah, but I can't attack him because he crossed the river. I might still be able to catch him. If I kill him, I will get some error score. So that's what I want. I really don't want a Dark Age. And I only have nine turns. I might get a Dark Age anyway. Yeah, I might actually get a Dark Age anyway, which is not great. I'm certainly not thrilled about it. I need to look around and see what I can do to get more error score. More damage. Okay, we are almost there. Now I will definitely lose this Masked Man here. Yeah, probably. Let's swap them around. I don't think I want to attack. Actually, yes, I kind of do. He only has two shots. He can't kill everything all at the same time. That's literally not possible. There's the Builder. Now we can place the Holy Site. That's only six turns as well. That's going to be relatively quick. Uh, I also have a fair bit of gold. Now we can buy that tile to the east, chop the rainforest, and that will likely be an encampment later. I still plan to go after Arabia later, but first I need to deal with Gandhi. Alright Gandhi, give me your city already. Wait, did he just build a wonder here? What's this? Uh, wait, what? Human. There's humanism. What the heck is this? Oh yeah, he is actually building a wonder. Uh, that's kind of weird, but okay. Uh, he did kill that wounded masked man, but that was to be expected. It's alright. And he attacked one of my bombards. Uh, I can move it out to safety, move in with this one instead. Uh, I'm not picking up the promotion yet, we'll save it. Okay, we almost took down the fortification here. He still has the encampment, but now he can't attack me with the city. Wait, I think I can take the city now. Is this enough? Tell me this is enough. Yes, we got it. Nice. Obviously, I'm keeping it. Maybe not obviously, because at one point I was considering raising it. But yeah, I think we should keep it. It has an encampment, so that's definitely a good thing. We can move Victor here. There's no need to buy a monument probably, but let's buy the monument anyway. And then build walls, because I cannot build walls. I cannot buy walls, but I can buy monument. I will move Victor just to be closer to his other cities, and then we'll go after Majorai, probably. I don't want to take his capital. It might take a little bit of time to do that. Okay, he healed his knight. I don't think I'll be killing that knight core. <laughs> Let's stop chasing it, because that's just not a great idea right now. Uh, anyway, this episode has been pretty long now, so uh, that's going to be it for now. Let me know what you think about this style. I might or might not continue it this way, I'm not sure. Either way, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did to denounce the YouTube algorithm as usual. And I'll see you next time.